What should I do if there is no prescriptive guidance? If the image is poor quality, without any structures visible, then the algorithm may not be able to provide any guidance for probe movements. In this scenario, rely on the other cardiac guidance features. Remember you always have continual real-time feedback from the quality meter. When no structures are visible and the meter is low, the system will prompt you to make slow circular sweeps until moving anatomy appears. While searching for the heart, pay attention to the quality meter so that when it starts to go up, you can slow your movements down, stabilize your wrist, and follow any prescriptive guidance that may appear. Another option is to take the probe off the patient's chest and reset in a different spot. You can explore with confidence knowing that Save Best Clip has remembered your best two-second clip. Cardiac guidance is also very sensitive to depth. For larger patients, depth may need to be increased so the ultrasound can travel deeper into the patient. For smaller patients, it may need to be decreased. Lastly, the software will not prompt guidance if it is not confident that a probe movement will improve the image. A non-software feature that is helpful in this case is knowing when and how to control the patient's breathing. In this example, the quality meter gets close to auto-capture, but when the patient breathes, the image disappears. Watch what happens when the patient gently exhales and holds their breath out. The image remains on the screen, and the view can be auto-captured. Now that we know what to do if there is no guidance, let's review what to do if there is too much guidance or it disappears too quickly. Sometimes, more than one movement can improve the image. This may mean that both movements need to occur. In this example, the guidance is directing the user to both rotate to see the heart and rock to center the image. Having multiple movements appear may also mean the user is moving too quickly. Try to slow down your movements. Sometimes when scanning, you might think the image is getting worse as you follow the guidance. This can generally be one of two things. One, you have run into interference from the lungs or the ribs. In this case, continue to follow the prescriptive guidance. Then, try to reestablish your image by sliding the probe above or below the rib to a new intercostal space. Two, sometimes when scanning, the quality meter will rise and the image looks like the reference image, but the image is not auto-capturing. The auto-capture feature is highly sensitive to parameters, such as depth and on-axis orientation. In this example, you can see that the structures are visible, but the quality meter is not going up. The AI is looking for on-axis orientation, which can be achieved by following the prescriptive guidance, rocking away from the indicator in this case. Another reason why the software may not be auto-capturing the image is due to the high standards the algorithm places on the image quality to allow for multiple clinical questions to be answered. However, often these clinical questions can be answered with images that do not auto-capture, but instead are saved using Save Best Clip.